The Madison County Historical Society is trying to reunite a family with a World War II uniform. Our Colleen Finney was in Richmond with how the uniform was unexpectedly found. Kelvin Gabbard and Jackie King won an auction for the contents of a random storage unit, something they had done many times before. They didn't know what they'd find inside, but they never imagined they'd come across a historical item that would lead them on a manhunt. We kind of looked at each other like, you know, somebody probably don't know that's in here because I can't see somebody throwing it in a storage unit and not coming back for it. After trying to learn anything they could about the uniform on the Internet, Gabbard and King stopped by the Madison County Historical Society's booth at the Spoon Bread Festival in September for help on how to get the uniform back in the right hands. World War II soldiers, they're few and far between. And these are stories that you don't hear about soldiers, period. But these are, these are personal stories, family stories about, about their, their military life. And uh, it, it, it means a lot because a lot of these soldiers never talk about their life in, in their military and they still don't. You know. Eventually, the Historical Society found that the uniform was worn by Wallace F. Roby, who was born in 1922 in the Georgetown area. He served in World War II in 1944. Most of his family resides in Alabama, except for a grandson that lives in Lexington. The Historical Society emphasized how important it is that personal items like these get returned back to the family. If you find any photos or, or any article of, of clothing, military or something, please save it and turn it into a local uh, historical society so they can do research on it. It may not mean much to you, but it does mean maybe somewhere with a, with a family somewhere. It does my heart good because, you know, I wish that someday, uh, my, like I said, my great-great-grandfather was a Civil War Union soldier, and I would love to have just one item, just one of his, you know. The grandson was contacted, but for now, the uniform remains in the Richmond Visitor Center, along with hundreds of pictures that capture Roby's life. In Richmond, Colleen Finney, Fox 56 News.